it's Melissa in Minnesota. Welcome back to my channel. Decided to do a little updo today, so I'm a little poofy and <laughs> fuzzy over here. Coda has to come say hi, cause you know, she can't be ignored. But yeah, laundry day today. I've got one in the dryer, one in the washer. So if you hear buzzing, beeping, whatever, that's what that's going on. And we have a load back here. So yeah, it's, it's real life, you know? <laughs> some days no makeup, some days makeup, some days, woo! <laughs> So, would you get out of my box, please? Yeah, she's sniffing all my little goodies over here. So, last video I did was a food haul. This video is going to be a beauty and lifestyle haul. But if you saw that last video, just to let you guys know a little bit of how I'm going to do this, I will try to link products down below. But more of the focus is it's a limited space, putting things down there and links and whatnot, and trying to remember to put links in those. Uh, what I did, since my whole social media platform is 100% gluten free. I do beauty, food, and lifestyle. I've tried to divide those things up for the new year going forward into those categories. So you guys can go to my blog, check out, if you want a quick shopping list, you can say, okay, here's all the beauty items. This is what I tried and true tested items that I can use, no reaction, no sensitivity to for skincare, hair care, liquid foundation if you're looking for makeup, powder foundation, eyeshadows that I trust and use, and just trying to make things easier for you guys. I'm going, I had the beauty part for a couple years now, but I really want to focus more on getting the food items. So you can take that list to the grocery store if you need to, or if you're shopping on Vitacost or Lucky Vitamin or Thrive Market, you can say, okay, these are the items that I can use that, hey, I'm a lot like Melissa. She has sensitivities to this. She's dairy intolerant. These are the items that she can use and trust. And these are the ones that her teen boys love or husband likes and use then it makes it easier for you if you're looking for similar items as far as lifestyle now um just to kind of touch bases i won't get too detailed in this video maybe in another video but when i went gluten free and i started looking at the back of those bottles and the back of the things that i was consuming and using uh for day-to-day -day basis on the ingredient list and i really started delving into hey what is that product you know, what are the ingredients in there? Where does it come from? What's it sourced from? How is it manufactured? That kind of started this whole, I will say, roller coaster of a lifestyle. The first being when I found a baby product, looked pure, looked natural, green bottle, green leaf, hey, uh, and I think it was called natural something, but it was a baby item. And one of the ingredients on there was for cleaning sewer systems in cities and I'm thinking this is a baby product yes it was gluten free but did I really want to be putting that type of ingredient on my body when I was trying to be healthy so that started my really looking into what I was using what I was consuming and I'm not completely green or clean I'm still learning on that process my focus is 100% gluten free but if you're looking more into getting leading a healthier greener cleaner lifestyle maybe you can find some of the items that I have been testing out and using and start to really love and seeing things that I buy repeatedly maybe they are something that you're interested in using so you can take this list wherever you're shopping and start checking those things off as well now like I said the items that I'm getting into are beauty items and lifestyle items so these will be cleaning products and then of course like beauty items uh, we're gonna start off with a brand that I love it is a certified gluten-free brand it is EO uh, they also have everyone so EO uses more of the essential oils more expensive like frankincense those type of um more costly uh oils eo uh is that higher end part of the company everyone is more the affordable line they make uh three in ones more of a one and done type of of product uh the eo deodorant is absolutely i love their spray deodorant that has been my top deodorant for the past i don't know five years now 2013 is when i was diagnosed and started this whole journey a little before that because i officially couldn't get into the doctor until several months after i started trying to figure out what was going on but um the EO wipes, these are perfect. I actually bought these for my teen sons because they go from school, they're in gym, they go from that to work or to a, another sporting event or meeting friends. And so, you know, they don't want to be carrying a deodorant with them a lot of times. And these EO wipes are perfect. They keep them in the glove box of like my older son's truck or, you know, in their backpacks or whatnot. And then they freshen up and they don't have to. <laughs> 
<laughs> be unpleasant wherever else they're going. So the only, I think they have lavender and tea tree. Those are the only scents. I wish they had their citrus scent. In. And so, yeah, I highly recommend these. My son, this is actually, I, I don't know if this is the second box I have in here. I've actually picked up one of these at a local store in town. Um, at our health food store, but they are certified gluten-free. They're non-GMO. They are cruelty-free. That's another thing that I really started looking at when I dove into ingredients and manufacturing. They are certified bee company. Uh, no synthetic fragrances. They do use essential oils, so you don't have to worry about any of that. No propylene glycol, no aluminum chlorohydrates, no parabens or phthalates, and so just a very good, clean product, and I really like these for convenience. So Okay, let's try this again. I got a phone call. The new chapter, this is the 40 plus everyone vitamin multi daily vitamin. These are whole food fermented multivitamins with nutrients for bone, hormone, and digestive support can be taken on an empty stomach. There are 96 uh, tablets in here, one a day, and I believe they are, they're gluten free, 100% vegetarian, uh, no artificial flavors or colors, dairy free as well. Uh, they do contain fermented soy, which I didn't realize it was not on the Vitacost website. I don't think it was on that when I picked these up. And so I try to eliminate soy from my diet at all uh, possible means, but uh, uh, we'll go ahead and take these. This is the first time I'm trying these. The vitamins that I normally take are the Country Life vitamins, and those were the women's vitamins. But I want to try, since I am over 40, something that was mainly toward that type of um, where I am in my life. And also, these seem to be higher in some of the uh, supplemental vitamins that I needed. And I I don't know if, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a previous video, but I, this winter has been really hard on me with anxiety and depression, and I know not getting out in the sun, not taking vitamin D, I can tell when I'm lacking those. And since my gut health is not healthy, uh, the gut controls everything else, so it really controls your mind, your body, your spirit, and so just having that depression, I can tell when I'm starting to get low in deficiency of vitamin D, I will take vitamin D supplements along with that Country Life vitamin, and I could really my spirits were lifted. It was just amazing. And so I really wanted to focus more on a multivitamin. I've been taking the Country Life for, gosh, it's been over four years now. I, I started taking that. I was diagnosed with gluten sensitivities in uh, 2013. And so I thought I would try something a little different. Um, uh, like I said, higher in different uh, like vitamin D already, and just uh, some other essential vitamins like ginger and turmeric. And so, yeah, I'm going to give this a try and see how this works out for me as well. Now, this is a little more expensive, I will say, than the country life, but uh, we shall go and see how things work from that. Uh, I'm going to save the household items. I'm kind of going to divide these up a little bit. Now, I don't know if this item was being discontinued or not. It's, it's weird. It keeps going on and off of the website. But I wanted to pick up another one because I really enjoyed it. And this is a certified gluten-free product. This is CPN, which is California Pure Naturals. This is the baby organic. This is the baby soothing aloe hydrator and it is a gel uh, at first i thought it was going to be like a spray like a toner spray and then when i took it out the first time i noticed it was a gel this is the second one that i purchased i highly recommend this product it is i will say you need to mix it with something uh, another lotion or uh, it's going to be sticky if you just apply this alone but I have found this is amazing for and I have not done a video on uh, too much on this I've done two I've done a first impressions and a try on of the brand Root Pretty absolutely love them I have so many products from them that I need to review and show you guys. I am going to do a haul on that. I think I'm going to do skincare and makeup. I'm trying their skincare and absolutely loving it. It has transformed my skin this winter. I love their mineral foundation. However, it does look cakey on my over 40 skin if I use it alone. And so I have fallen in love with it because I love that I can make it a liquid. I can mix it with whatever oil I want. If I'm starting to break out, I can mix it with jojoba, which is more of a balancing oil. Aloe, I can mix it with this and make it more of a hydrating type of foundation. So I love that I can take that pigmented mineral powder and tweak it to whatever my skin needs. And that's why I fall in love. It is a gluten-free brand. It is by far the best powder mineral foundation I have ever tried and so I picked it up in several different shades because going forward I want to be able to mix and match for whatever the season is and how if I get a tan or lighten in the winter I can use that but I love this product for moisturization it works well playing with that mineral powder 
and so I did not want to be without this so I picked up another one so if you can grab one of these off of Vitacost on sale or just grabbing one it is great like I said it has no um no gluten in it. It says uh, no artificial preservatives. It's pediatrician and dermatologist tested. It's hypoallergenic, certified USDA organic, certified gluten free by the GFC. Oh, that's gluten free certification organization. <laughs> no animal testing. It's made in California. And so there are a lot of toxins that are not allowed in California. This is just an amazing cruelty free product. So highly recommend if you can grab this, do so. EO and everyone is one of my favorite gluten-free brands so from the company itself I picked up some of the products and I will show you guys uh, the spray deodorant is my top deodorant I love their citrus and their vertivere or vetiver however you say that word <laughs> that scent but I noticed they came out with cream deodorants and I've been using one of these I have one I've been using it for the past month I really wanted to test it and see how it works it is a cream deodorant I love that I can wear black there's no white marks I love that there's no staining on my clothes there was uh, I did find both my husband and I he still uses Schmidt's deodorant and we're using he's using them up I think we're on our last one now then I will transfer him over to this deodorant <laughs> which is why I picked up a couple of them. The scent that I am currently using and falling in love with is the Mandarin Lime. I have this in my bathroom. Like I said, I've been using it. I picked up two because I know I'm going to switch my husband over to this and definitely want to have that. Ver uh, Vetiver is my top scent. I love that my husband likes the way that it smells on me. And so they had a Vetiver and Ylang Lang uh, scent and I decided to pick up one of these. This is Oh, this is just so nicely scented. Love that. And then I also decided to pick up a citrus sage. Mm, this is nice. This is very, very nice. Smells more citrus than sage. I don't want to take the top off yet until I open it, but well, let's just go ahead. <laughs> if I can, maybe not. I can't get the top off now, but I can lightly smell it through the top. And to me, it smells more citrus than sage. So it is just perfect um it's synthetic fragrance free paraben free phthalate free gmo free pro propylene glycol free aluminum free gluten free cruelty free made with botanical extracts and love it's a b corp certified the scents let's see what does it have the eo essential oils are and i love it to say uh eo essential oils not proprietary blends or anything like that that's one of the reason i love this company is they are to the point they tell you what the ingredients are and it's lime oil orange oil it does have cedar wood oil in it, it does have clary sage it does have lavender but that's uh, lower on the list lemon oil and uh, flower extract uh citradoria flower extract lipia citradora flower extract everyone lotion it is dry here in northern minnesota it's a three-in-one you can use it for your hands face or body uh this is the mint coconut i really enjoy the scent i use this back in the summer it has a cooling sensation to it so i wanted to go ahead and pick one up so i had one on hand i have not tried their apricot vanilla i wanted to give this a try I like the way peaches smell. They don't have anything peach smelling, so apricot's the next closest. And if I can take the top off. Oh, this is nice. A very nice scent. I was wondering, sometimes I've, I've had, let me just say this, I've had apricot scents that smelled like body odor before, and I was, ugh. But this doesn't, this is not going to do that. No, 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 no. Very nicely scented. Well done, well done. I'm, I'm very excited about that. And... They have just released, and I believe they're five or six. I, I picked up three, six. I picked up three of their, these are their essential oil perfumes. Now, perfumes not being, no perfume, no fragrance, you guys, I just don't do that. Um, the fragrance is one of those words that if you see it on a package, natural, otherwise, run. Um, it can contain toxins. It can contain a plethora of all different who knows what companies do not have to reveal what the actual ingredients are to make up that blend these are made with essential oils so you don't have to worry about what's in here and what's hiding uh eo everyone doesn't do that i picked up out of the um six cents the, the three that i did not pick up one was rose was 
was jasmine and the other was lavender i i did not pick up those i picked up the bohemian sandalwood the namaste which is geranium and orange and the vertiver coconut the cool thing about these is you can wear them as a single scent or you can mix them now i have been wearing them and you guys know within the last couple years i've told you how much i cannot stand fragrances the sense of floral sense it just i it makes me anxious nauseous I just cannot do it. And so many companies are putting those scents. And there was a research, a um, poll that was done, and they tested consumers about what their scent was that they were deterred by or gave them allergies or, like I said, anxiety. And it was a floral scent. Now, why companies still continue to put those in their skincare and beauty products, I don't know. Um, Obviously, people are buying them because they like companies like Bath & Body Works, but a lot of people are put off by those. So I wanted something in my search that I liked, things that were natural, really natural, that used essential oils. And so that's what I have here. The sandalwood is lovely. Oh my gosh. I've When I got these, I was really nervous to get them. And I thought, okay, I'm going to get these. I'm going to have to give them away. But I love these. They are amazing. Um, the Bohemian Sandalwood Woodsy Earthy Mellow. Sandalwood and frankincense inspire pure imagination. I love frankincense because it's an earthy, grassy smell. Really like that. Very clean. Uh, it has a hoba oil in it. It has castor oil in it. And, of course, it has a pure soil essential oil blend which is the sandalwood and the frankincense so that's this one namaste is a bright meditative and sweet has geranium orange brings harmony and restores balance again it contains the hobo jojoba oil and castor oils for the uh, oil blends and then the vertiver I say vertiver, vetiver coconut is warm, earthy, and romantic. The coconut and vetiver ground your senses. And again, it has the uh, castor oil and the jojoba oil um, for the oil blends. And you can mix these. They are just lovely together. Really recommend these three. If you like florals, then tr definitely pick up the jasmine, the rose, or the lavender. Those might be more of your thing. And then you can mix those with one or two of these. Now, speaking of laundry, here we go. The two laundry detergents that I found gluten-free, don't have an issue with, do not cause any reactions on my skin. Uh, you know, because you think about your, whatever you're putting on your clothes is absorbed in the fabric. You're wearing that on your skin. A lot of people have reactions. You think about babies, you use the mildest, gentlest form of detergent you can because babies have that against their skin. Look into what you're wearing. Your skin's absorbing everything that's next to it, put on it. And I was reading an article and I was telling my husband about this. You know, you go in the fabric aisle and all these laundry detergents, they try to get their scent out more. So they keep putting in perfumes and scents. And like I said, they don't have to reveal what their fragrance is. So a lot of those have toxins and let's just say all of them have toxins in them and different synthetics and pop you know polymers and oils and um they don't have to tell you what's in it and you're absorbing that into your skin into your body you're wearing that and the one thing in this article suggested that the reason the fragrances keep getting stronger is because the fabrics that we're now wearing absorb odor and to combat that odor you need a stronger detergent and so you constantly have bacteria and odor and then these fragrances cling to that. And that's why your clothes keep getting stronger. So like if you walk past somebody, you can smell their laundry detergent on them. That's, that's like a red flag. That's like when you go into, <laughs> I'm just going to say, when you go into a hotel, if you ever smell chlorine at a pool, run for your life. Do not go in that pool. Because the reason you smell chlorine is there's so much bacteria in there. The chlorine is con is it's fighting that bacteria and it creates that smell because it's fighting all that bacteria. That's now what our clothes the bacteria in our body and that laundry detergent that fragrance is in there is doing so the more you smell that fabric detergent on your body and or on your uh clothes should be a red flag charlie's soap i picked up the oxygen bleach in this it's lip cream live green deep clean and this works really well it's chlorine free ultra concentrated safe for colors non-toxic hypoallergenic naturally tackles tough stains whitens whites and eliminate odor we have really hard water and this really helps out picked up the uh, booster in this this really helps to fight stains softens clothes keeps whites whites and hypoallergenic we also have he uh, washer but we have such 
buildup in minerals in our water and such hard water. I really need something that boosts that and pick up one of these. The Simple Truth, these are cleaning wipes and fresh mint. This removes grease, grime, and dirt from multi-surfaces. I picked up this, I wanted a non-toxic wipe. Didn't want Clorox wipes, seventh generation. I was not impressed with the ingredients on that, and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, I thought they were more of a clean brand, and I think they're getting more into a green wash situation because I picked up one of their dish soaps um, within the last month, and I noticed that it had SLS in it, and that was like the top, one of the top three ingredients, I believe, was SLS, and I'm thinking, I thought they were a green company, and they didn't use anything like that. So I was a little disappointed in that. I don't know since um, they, you know, you find them in Target and stuff like that. I just don't know if they're changing their formulas at all. But yeah, I've been using those. So, um, these are really nice. I already have, I bought two of these. I already have one of these in the bathroom. I've been using them. Uh, there's no animal testing. They're paraben sulfate, triclosan, phosphate, and ammonia free. Just, I think they're really good ingredients. They're vegan also and gluten-free. So, um, yeah, really like that. Now, the seventh generation, it's one of those things where, like I said, I, I'm really starting to watch their ingredients. Uh, but this is the Streak-Free Shine uh, Glass and Surface Natural Cleaner. I did pick up one of these and I got it from Vitacost. Um, but I, this works really well. This is one of the ones that I found that works the best. I am going to try going back to homemade with vinegar and water for household cleaners and go back and forth between that and convenience sometimes just weighs out. So this is a convenience item that I picked up and it was on sale. So, um, that is everything for my household and beauty haul this month. So I hope you're all having a very fantastic day. So I'll, some of the things that maybe you want to pick up and use. And I will try to remember to put these in that blog post as well. So you can have a very convenient, easy checkoff list if you're going to the store or shopping online for items that work really well in my household. And maybe you want to pick up them too. So have a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day. And I will see everyone in my next video. Bye guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.